Yo, what's good my people? Peace and blessings. It's your brother Samuel. Do me a favor, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. You already know what to do, man. Don't be a hater. Show some love, show some support. Today we're going to be talking about the spiritual benefits of SR. Yo, on your spiritual journey, it's going to get crazy, man. A lot of things are going to happen. A lot of things are going to change about your life, about your personality, about your character. You know, this journey really teaches you so much. You know, when you put God first, it, he, he will, he will, he will, he will give you so much wisdom and strength and knowledge. So let's get into it, man. The first benefit, of course, is to get closer to the Most High God. That's the that's the biggest blessing of this whole journey of being on SR is getting closer to the Most High. You know, when you celebrate, when you're honoring your temple, like you know, this is the temple of the Most High. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So when you're honoring that vessel. Of course, that's going to allow the Holy Spirit to strengthen with inside of you. That's going to allow your connection to the Most High to be strengthened. Um, the word says in, in James 4 verses 8, it says, Draw near to God and He will draw near to you. you know, so the closer you draw to the Most High, the, the, the more you seek after knowledge and wisdom and His presence, the more you will receive it. You know, Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. So just you know, don't get caught up or misled into idol gods into chakras and and all new age practices you know it will, it will only lead you astray it will only lead you further away from the most high god you know if you truly want to get far on this journey if you truly want to have you know true peace in your heart that, that doesn't come from worldly carnal ways of thinking you need to put god first and and not some heebie jeebie fucking crystals and horoscopes and all that nonsense man you know and gods with six arms like it's not going to help you only the most high god is going to help you I want to give you salvation for your soul. The next benefit is spiritual gifts. On this journey, your your spiritual discernment, okay, will be so sharp. Like you will be able to 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 sense, you know, what kind of vibes people are carrying. You'll be able to understand what is the best route to take. And discernment is is one of the biggest blessings on this on this journey because, you know, this is going to prevent you from being around low vibrational beings. This is gonna this is gonna help you navigate in the right path is going to help you navigate into the best opportunities you know it's going to allow you to keep your vibration and guard your energy because you're not gonna you're gonna have the discernment to see <clears throat> what's truly in people you know the eyes don't lie you know so you know you're better you're better to tell a lot from this journey man the holy spirit will, will let you know when something feels off back when i was in the world i didn't have this level of discernment you know i would fall for any vibes i'd let anybody be my friend like you know i, I, I was easily influenced easily manipulated like you know now with this discernment like nothing slides you know nothing gets past me without me seeing it real talk you will have different gifts of the spirit you know even prophecy even even interpretation you know being able to understand things for exactly what they are because the holy spirit teaches you you know the word says in john 14 16 he will send the helper and he will show you and guide you into all wisdom and truth you know so even when you're reading the word you'll be able to understand it you don't need to really go to some sort of bible study the next thing is dreams man on this journey you're gonna have crazy dreams crazy visions in your dreams like there's been so many times that like i could have a dream and like that thing will happen in the, in reality for example you could dream that you're gonna see somebody and then you see them this is biblical the most high gives us dreams and visions in, in numbers 12 verse 6 it says your your young your old men should prophesy and your young man shall see visions in dreams something like that but you know take your dreams seriously man i truly believe like the dreams are like the spiritual realm what's crazy is you you'll actually start to become lucid and aware of your dreams you know for example being attacked in your dreams by like a lustful demon and eventually you'll get conscious where you can actually try to you can actually repel and and block that demon from trying to attack you trying to get your energy now people are going to think you're crazy for even saying something like this man but i know it's facts your dream state has a thin line into the spiritual realm like take your dreams pretty seriously man and not every dream is going to be you know some sort of vision from god but you know if you feel led in your spirit like it means something and ask the most high about it in prayer and he will reveal it to you number four will be manifestation now this isn't no new age kind of thing but it even says in the word in proverbs as a man think of so is he you know so however you perceive yourself however you view yourself spiritually and however you receive you view your reality is what it will be you know in a certain sense like of course we have the will of the most high and so when i'm talking about manifestation i'm talking about you know following god's will putting the work to create a better reality for yourself you will have more opportunities and more abundance come to you it will flow to you it's like on this journey you attract you know you don't chase you attract things you attract it you attract um positive scenarios you attract positive occasions 
that you can be thinking about somebody and then see them you know it's real talk like if you're thinking about somebody too much this is why you gotta be careful in a sense because it's almost like you have to be careful what you wish for you know you have to make sure you're following god's will uh, and not allowing the, not allowing doors to be open for the enemy not giving the enemy a foothold you know you have to you with much power comes as much as given much is required you know it's bible think of anything that's ever been created or invented that has came from a thought process you know any building that's been created any car that's been designed your thoughts have power like i said as a man think of so is he your thoughts have a lot of power so you need to make sure that you're thinking positive things you need to make sure that you're capturing every thought to the obedience of christ like paul says in corinthians man number five would be walking in the spirit this is a spiritual benefit man when you're walking in the spirit you're not in the flesh when you're in the flesh you care about the things of the flesh you know you need the quick pleasure you need instant gratification you want to go hit that blunt you want to go drink you know you want to you need female validation you you need to be um wearing the best clothes and it's all about materialism whereas when you're walking in the spirit you're truly in your spiritual essence you're truly thinking about things of the spirit you truly have more peace in your heart and soul you know you're more you're more connected to god in galatians 5 16 it says let us walk in the spirit so we don't fulfill the lust of the flesh you know so like when you're in your spirit it's, it's a superpower because you're not opening doors you're not opening sinful doors now i'm not saying you're never going to fall short but as long as you're walking in the spirit and you're putting god first this will prevent you from falling short this will prevent you from falling short to your lower nature go back to old bad habits you know walking in the flesh is going to allow you to scope out rooms it's going to allow you to truly walk in a soulful manner your charismatic nature you know you're going to be in your true godlike essence you know like like almost like a child you know you're a pure spirit your eyes are pure your soul is pure your consciousness is pure and, and it's felt man that has that as a spiritual energy it's felt wherever you go when you're walking in the spirit imagine you go into a room and everybody's in their fleshly nature and you're in a spiritual nature like of course you're going to stick out like a sore thumb number six will be a higher connection to creation you know even though it's a rainy day out here now i can look outside and just know that wow like we're so blessed to be here we're blessed to have this opportunity you know we, we go out in the nature on a sunny day you're looking at the trees you look at everything looks 4k vision seems better it's you know you have a greater appreciation for everything the lord has made so you could look at a tree and a verse could come to your head like here's the here's the tree and we are the branches you know what i mean like you can you, it, it, it it gives you creative energy it gives you it blesses your spirit being in creation it nourishes your soul you know when you go for a walk in a nice forest when you when you buy the seaside you know you have such a high appreciation for the nature it's for the little things you're seeking out adventure you constantly want to push yourself to new boundaries you want to be out you don't want to be stuck inside you know what i mean it's not good for your spirit to always be stuck inside you desire to be outside and i'm telling you even animals on this journey like people who think you're crazy but if you get near a dog or a cat on this journey that animal is going to want to be near you that, an that animal wants to understand you like you can feel it bros like animals are drawn to you you can see somebody walking their dog down the street and a dog turns like out of nowhere when you're far away and looks at you and stuff like that like animals have to be aware of their surroundings animals have to be aware of energy like if you imagine a lion of course a lion he's gonna know when he can respect another animal or when he doesn't respect another animal you know it's like a reverence thing whatever's weak and and easy prey versus what's strong and needs to be respected you know so animals are very aware of energy and when you're possessing a high level of spiritual energy this is felt by all beings not just humans like it's crazy but it's true it's absolutely fact man and number seven would just be having peace within yourself you know having peace within your soul and your spirit this cannot go overlooked it's like you get into this place where you just feel like you're not lacking anything everything you will ever need on your journey everything you will need to you know achieve success anything you will ever need to have the best life that you perceive as being good is inside of you it's within it's like you, you, your soul feels ignited you feel truly in the presence of the most high you feel protected like you feel protected wherever you go and this eliminates fear so you live by faith you walk by faith and not by sight you literally nothing can it feels like nothing can harm you now, I'm not saying go out here and be stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't go out here thinking you're some superhero and jump off a building and expect to fly. You will feel empowered in a certain sense. You will feel like, you know, you are being protected by the most high. 
which it allows you to take risks in life before when you, you would have been scared to maybe go for that business you would have been scared to take that job opportunity but now you walk by faith you have no fear of, the, of what's going to go wrong but you trust that god has his best interest for you at heart and even when things go wrong you know it's for a higher purpose so this in turn gives you peace like it's different and peace beyond human understanding you feel clean you feel sanctified which allows you to vibrate at a higher energy rate it allows you to be positive to other people and people will fill your soul and they would they would desire and crave that connection with you because they, they see that you're emotionally and, and spiritually pure you know so you if you if you went through the tough times to be emotionally and spiritually pure you can help other people you have a great level of empathy so you can really understand people's nature and their feelings because you've had to go through what it takes to understand your own nature and feelings and emotions without trying to run to vices so you're the best person for these people to come to so if you walk with the holy spirit you know that that's felt man in the spiritual realm but that's all i have for you today man these are seven benefits seven spiritual benefits of sr you know take this journey serious put god first in all you do stay prayed up stay blessed stay disciplined and you'll be able to have the desires of your heart man you'll be able to go far in this journey i pray this bless you man in jesus name have a blessed and beautiful day Amen.